Hi there, this is Ed Herzog from edherzog.com and today I want to show you how to create a sticky sidebar in Elementor. Now this is a feature that is only available in Elementor Pro. So if you do not have Elementor Pro, you will not have access to the features that I'm going to show you today in this video. Now I know of three different ways in which you can make a sticky sidebar in Elementor and I'm going to show you all three in this video. The first way is if you only want to have one widget on your sidebar be sticky. The other two ways are if you want to have multiple widgets be sticky, okay? The other thing to know is that you can create a sticky sidebar on either a page or a post. But obviously most people are going to be interested in using this on a blog post. So that's what I'm going to focus on in this particular video. But everything I'm going to show you could, you could apply just as easily to a page, okay? So let me switch over to my desktop and I'll take you through a tutorial and show you all three ways to create a sticky sidebar in Elementor. So this is a blog post template that I've created in Elementor using the Elementor Theme Builder. And the first thing to know is that there's no direct way to create a sticky sidebar in Elementor. The issue is that Elementor does not give the option to choose a column and make it sticky. You can make a section sticky, and we'll, we will take advantage of that in the second method I'm going to show you, or you can choose an individual widget and make an individual widget sticky. Now you do need to be careful. I don't, for example, want to make this here, this post widget sticky. The problem is, as you see, I have a lot of other things on this sidebar. And if I make this here sticky, it's going to end up sliding on top of these other, uh, these other items that I have on my sidebar, and it's going to look horrible. So I want to choose whatever is at the bottom of my sidebar and make that sticky. So you'll need to plan out, if you have just one widget that you want to be sticky, you want to make sure that it's at the very bottom of your sidebar. So I'm going to choose this here. It's very easy to make this sticky. I come here to the Advanced tab, I then go to Motion Effects, and right here it says Sticky. I'm going to make it Sticky Top. Now, I then choose Desktop, Tablet, and Mobile. You're going to want to turn off on Mobile. Normally, uh, a, mobile isn't, a mobile device isn't going to show a sidebar anyway. It's going to come you know, at the bottom of whatever your post or page is, so it doesn't really have any value there. Value there. For the tablet, you'll need to take a look whether or not this works on a tablet for you, whether it looks good, whether or not it's something that you want to have. You know, it's going to really depend on the particular layout that you're using. And then desktop, obviously, you, want, you definitely want to have turned on. That's the main place where this will work and where it will look good is on a desktop. So uh, let's go ahead and update this. and come here and you can see this is now sticky but you see it's stuck way up here at the top so we want to change that so i'm going to give it an offset and give it 100 pixels and go ahead and save this now the 100 pixel offset only happens when you start scrolling so as you see here it still hasn't stuck right it's still there and you don't see this 100 pixel, 100 pixel offset. But as I come down here and it sticks, you see now I have this offset. I think that looks a lot better when you have a little space there. So I think it's a good idea to put some sort of an offset there. Okay, but now we have another issue that we want to solve. If I come all the way down here, what you're going to see is this is going to bleed into my footer, right? We don't want that. That doesn't look that great. So we come here, we turn on stay in column, update it. And now this will stop once we hit the footer. So that's it. Very simple. If you have one widget that you want to be sticky, that's all you have to do. You go to advanced, go to motion effects, make it sticky, uh, choose your devices. Probably you want to put an offset and stay in column. That's it. Very, very simple. So let's take a look at the second way to create a sticky sidebar in Elementor. So the second way to create a sticky sidebar in Elementor, and this works if you have more than one element that you want to have sticky, is by using the intersection widget. So I'm going to come over here and search for the intersection. There it is. And I'm going to come down here and drop this in here. And then I'm going to delete one of these columns. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that column there. So now I have an intersection with just one column. I'm then going to take these three widgets, the heading widget, the spacer widget, and this image widget, and drop them into the intersection. Drop that in there. Drop. Oops, let's reverse these. And then put this in here. 
So these three items, oops, the spacer is not in the right place. Let's put the space in the right place. There it is, bring it up here. So now I have these three within the intersection. And now I'm going to go here to edit intersection, go to advanced, go to motion effects, and turn on sticky top, turn off on mobile, give it an offset. Oops, 100 pixels and update it. And now this should all be sticky when I scroll down. But there is one problem that you might have realized, you've been paying attention, is that this is now going to bleed into the footer. So you have to decide, you know, this is a very easy way to create a sticky sidebar, but you know, this may not be what you want, you know, how you want your page to look. You may not want this to bleed into your footer, although I don't think a lot of people are gonna really scroll down that far, but you know, it, again, it's not the best look, so this isn't necessarily the best solution, but it is an easy solution to implement if you wanna have multiple widgets be sticky on your sidebar. I will, by the way, say one other thing, this is very, very important, so please pay attention to this. If you wanna have multiple items be sticky, you do need to pay attention to the viewport here. I can't, for example, make this whole sidebar be sticky because it, it's a lot larger than the viewport here. I have to choose items that fit within the viewport to be sticky. Uh, so again, you know, I could pick this here, this recent post, along with the post widget, that would work. Although again, I'd need to put this at the bottom and I don't want it sliding over on top of the other, other elements that I have here on the sidebar. But you know, I can't choose this plus these here, plus, you know, this course, etc. I can't choose everything. I have to decide what I want to have sticky. It needs to fit within the viewport for, for you know, whatever, uh, device I'm using, you know, in this case, you're focusing on a desktop. So it needs to fit within the viewport of a desktop, okay? So now let's take a look at the third way to create a sticky sidebar in Elementor. The final method for creating a sticky sidebar in Elementor takes advantage of the sidebar widget. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna come here to your WordPress dashboard. You then go to appearance and click on widgets. You're then going to want to put whatever you want to be sticky within one of your sidebars. Now this is going to depend a bit on your theme. So you see here I have this default sidebar, left sidebar, and uh, search result sidebar, and then some footer things. So I'm going to put stuff within my default sidebar. Now, the nice thing here is that you have down here Elementor Library. So what you can do is you can save things, save them as templates within Elementor, and then call them here within your WordPress widgets. So I've already gone ahead and created a template that includes this header, this spacer, and this image. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my default sidebar and come up here and choose the template, which is this one here. Go ahead and save that. Now I also have access to native WordPress widgets as well as widgets that come with my theme. So let's go ahead and put one of those in here as well. Let's go with the social share and go ahead and add that widget. And let's go ahead, I wanna delete a few of these social networks and go ahead and save that. So now I have this sidebar that includes this free course template, as well as these social share buttons from WordPress. Then I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna go ahead and delete these because I'm not gonna need them anymore. And come over here, bring in the sidebar widget, drop that in there. I'm going to choose my sidebar, both the default sidebar, and there you see I have the title, that spacer, the image, and then here is the WordPress widget for please share this. Now I'm going to make this all be sticky. So I'm going to come here, oops, come here to advanced, go to motion effects, make it top, turn off mobile. I'm going to give it only a 50 offset this time because it's a a lot bigger than just having this here now that I have this these share buttons down there. And 
Again, I want to stay in the column, so I'll update it. Come back up here, scroll down, and you can see this all sticks. So that is it. Those are the three methods for creating a sticky sidebar in Elementor. So if you want to have just one widget be sticky, it's very simple. You just choose that widget to make sure that it's at the bottom of your, of your sidebar. If you want to have multiple items be sticky, you can either use the intersection method I showed or the use the sidebar widget. Again, though, you do need to be careful. You don't want to have items that take up more than the viewing space of your viewport here within, uh, within your desktop. So if you have any questions at all about how to create a sticky sidebar in Elementor, please let me know. I'm always willing to help however I can. Uh, secondly, if you don't have access to Elementor Pro and you do decide that you want to buy Elementor Pro, I will put my affiliate link in the video description below. I always appreciate it when people buy via my link. It gives me a little bit of money that allows me to continue to create 100% free content. Finally, make sure to sub subscribe to my channel. I've got one to two videos on Elementor coming out, one to two videos every week for the rest of 2020 and going also into 2021. And also have other videos coming out every week, videos to help you build and grow your online business. So that is it. I hope this video was of help to you and I hope you have a great day. Bye.